Right, yeah, uh, very busy day down here at the uh, boat launch. Folks putting their boats in and out of the water. You know, every year in Washington, more than 100 people die from drowning. Deaths that in mo most cases are completely preventable. As our rivers and lakes get flooded with people escaping the summer heat, rescue workers think of one thing. When it starts to get into the 80s around here, you can almost set your watch by the fact that we are going to get swift water rescue calls in our area's river system for people that find themselves in trouble. Travis Hotz is the fire chief for Snohomish County Fire District 22. He says the waters around our area can be very deceptive and it doesn't take much for someone to get caught up in a current of trouble. The last time temperatures climbed into the 80s a couple of weeks ago, Snohomish County saw at least a dozen rescue calls in a single weekend. What are the biggest mistakes that people out there make? I'd say the biggest mistake that people make is, first of all, they don't wear uh, life jacket. It may look calm, but it, there's currents that are uh, just beneath the surface that will literally uh, pull you under and you'll likely drown. Case in point, this man who got sucked into a log jam on the Stillaguamish River and almost didn't make it out. Luckily, there was four Snohomish County Sheriff's deputies that were uh, in the area and responded to the scene and they were able to climb out onto that log and pull that man up, but it took all four of those guys to be able to do that. And he's alive today because of that. Along with always wearing a life jacket, Hot says don't use those cheap plastic floats on open water. They puncture far too easily. And with pools and water parks shut down due to coronavirus, Chief Hot's worries what the rest of this summer may bring. I'm seeing a lot more people out on the river system recreating. And so I think that there's just more potential for people to run into problems out there and for us to, to be called to help them. It's also a good time to remind you to keep kids away from open windows. The folks at Harborview tell us that every year that hospital alone sees at least 50 children who have fallen from windows and been seriously hurt. On the Everett waterfront, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Eric, thank you. Well, depending on where you go on the water, the lakes, the rivers or the sound, the water temperatures can range from very chilly to downright cold. Rebecca Stevenson joining us now with a look at how cold the water is and how to check it before you jump in. Hey, Rebecca. <laughs> Hi, Joyce, and it's true. Those temperatures are so hot outside. School net stations showing a random selection here of the cities. You can see are so hot. All you want to do is cool off. If you're in PL, 91 degrees, Yelm, 95, Orting, 94, 87, even at Stampede Pass up in the mountains. Well, that is where you definitely don't want to jump in the rivers if you're up in the mountains because that is ice melt coming down. Ice melt, snow melt. This is a hot Monday. We are within one degree of a record for both SeaTac and Olympia today. And as we go into the water temperatures, this is what your body was going to try to cool down to. Once you jump into Puget Sound, your body's going to want to just give up the heat to the water and you'll drop from 98.7 down to 52 degrees within a short period of time. So hypothermia, the big concern as you jump in the water, but also any of the lake lakes though across Washington, Sammamish and Union, these lakes with temperatures in the upper 50s to around 70. It's just not warm enough to support our body temperature for very long. You could also cramp up pretty bad when you'd go from such a dramatic hot feeling to such icy cold water. So keep that in mind as we wear through the evening tonight. Ice cubes, I highly recommend them, Joyce. It's good. Sounds good, Rebecca. Rebecca. We'll check back yep. later.